I'm very tired today. Why? How many hours do you work a day? Eight hours? Ten hours? Well, I work 24 hours every day, seven days a week. Basically, my job is not a mini job. That's the reason why I'm too tired. But I love my job, and I'm happy to do it. What job? Let's start from the beginning. In our environment, there are a wide range of enemy pathogen microorganisms, like virus, bacteria, protozoa, and fungi. So how does our body protect itself from all of these pathogens? Thanks to immune system. Immune system works 24 hours a day, every day of your life, to protect you from all of these enemy. We have two types of immunity, innate immunity and adaptive immunity. Innate immunity is made up of physical barriers like skin, chemical barriers like mucus and blood and tissue. Adaptive immunity is where T cell and B cell work. And I focus on T cell. In our body, there are these teeny tiny naive T cells. They, and after infection, they become strong effector cells. We have two types of T effector cells. They are CD4 and basically they spread their cytokines, and CD8 um, cytotoxic T cell. They run to the inflammation site to kill the pathogen. And together, they eliminate the pathogens. They are so happy that they could die. And basically, it's what they do. After eliminated pathogen, T effector cells die. Only a small population of grandparents T cells will survive. We call these cells memory cells because they, they remember everything, every pathogen whom they met. And if um, if our body re-encounters the same pathogen again, they are able to immediately kill it. So this adaptive immune response takes time. From naive T cells, after infection, they, get T, they become more and more stronger and stronger and become T effector cells, kill the pathogen, also effector T cell will die, and just this memory T cell will survive. So to support the complex differentiation and function of T cells, they need energy and biomass. Who gives, what gives T cell power? Money? <laughs> Love? Mitochondria. <laughs> Mitochondria got the power. <laughs> Mitochondria lives into T cell and they have Two membranes, <laughs> outer membrane and inner membrane. Between these two membranes, there is the intermembrane space, and into the inner membrane, there is the matrix. But let's focus on the inner membrane. Inner membrane goes up and down into the mitochondria, up and down, and forms this roller coaster. We call this roller coaster Christe. And the major component of this criste is cardiolipin. Cardiolipin is essential for the structure of this roller coaster. And to make a good cardiolipin, we need a teamwork. We need PTPMT1 to synthesize the cardiolipin, and also we need tafazim to remodel it. So what happens if one of these two enzymes don't work properly? This is what happened in our mitochondria. This functional mitochondria, our mitochondria get stress because they don't have a cardiolipin. So this stress may affect also T cell work. And understanding the role of stress caused by absence of cardiolipin in T cell will improve our knowledge of T cell work, possibly suggesting new therapeutics for Bart syndrome, for example, and other immune defect. So my take home message is, I know you are tired, you feed up, and you are close to breaking, but there is a strength within you, even when you feel weak. 
So keep fighting and believe in research. Thank you. Strong researchers work 24-7. Anna Maria Regina.